Hey you guys, this week I want to talk about the dark side of exercise. Dun, dun, dun. Before we go into that, I want to introduce myself to those of you who don't know me. My name is Julie Carson and I am an emotional eating health coach who helps people gain control of their thoughts and gain control of their life and lose weight. Now into the topic. First, I want to let you guys know, I truly believe exercise is very good for you and I believe it's good for your mind gets the blood flowing up to the brain, makes people smarter. It's good for your muscles because when you're building your muscles, you're releasing very good for you hormones into your body that keep you young. It just keeps your everything flowing, your lymph fluids in your body flowing for detox. And these are just a very, very few minute benefits that I'm giving you here. There's way, way many more benefits than what I've just listed here. And so just so you know, I'm not against exercise. I just want to talk about the fact that there needs to be a balance. Now that you guys know that I am for exercise and not against it, I want to tell you the dark side of exercise. So some people exercise so that they can eat anything they want. Kind of like a bulimia of sorts. They think if I exercise X amount a day, I can eat this brownie, I can eat this milkshake. And so the reason why that's bad is because what happens is when you eat the brownies and the milkshakes or the highly inflammatory foods, I mean, you exercise to eat those foods, what you're doing is you are giving your body inflammatory foods that are going against the benefits of exercise. Um, when you exercise, you're tearing down muscle, which is good, but you need to be able to build it back up again. And so people who eat those foods have a harder time recovering sometimes, unless you're a unicorn or something and you can do that. You know what? There's some people out there that can, but <laughs> I think that's far and few between. Usually people end up being more inflammatory when they eat the, the yucky junk food. Another way that exercise can be bad for you is let's say you're going through a time where your body is trying to heal and regenerate because we all go through those periods in life where um, it's kind of like the tide of the sea coming in. When the sea goes out back into the ocean, it's kind of like healing and regeneration, the analogy of that in our body. And when the sea comes back into shore, closer to land, that's an analogy for us being high energy and time to exercise. So we all have a kind of like a circadian type rhythm in our body where we need to rest and regenerate. And maybe it's seasonal, like in the fall or spring, like after they change the time, like the spring forward or fall back. Um, then is usually when you need to retreat and rest and listen to your body. You'll know if this is the case for you because you'll find it really hard to get out of bed. You're so tired and exercising doesn't give you energy. When exercise doesn't energize you on a day like that, then you know, or and it makes you more tired, then you know that it's time for regeneration and just to go with it. And I know some people are really afraid of that because they think they're just lazy. They think that they are falling back into their old habits again. And so you hear it over and over again, exercise, 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 exercise. I mean, they pound it into our heads. And I think it's because in a way we kind of need it. And I say in a way, but I feel like that once people see the benefits of exercise and how amazing it is, usually people don't want to stop exercising because it is so amazing. And then when they do stop, they condemn themselves for doing it. And then they fall into this condemnatory pattern of, I suck, I stopped exercising, not realizing that they were just regenerating. When people realize that they're just regenerating in times like that, it's a lot easier to move back into exercise when the body's ready to get up and go again. It's a mindset. So I highly encourage you to listen to your body that way and see if it's time to regenerate. 
Another time that's bad for exercise is if you find that you are eating way more than the calories that you're putting out, like you are hungry beyond belief and you know there's no earthly way you could have burned all those calories during that workout. but And so you find that you're gaining weight instead of losing weight. That's another time when it's a bad time to exercise. And I should probably rephrase that. Probably what would be the best kind of exercise for somebody like this would be yoga, walking, or something that's relaxing like dancing, something enjoyable and refreshing, like just a very nice walk up in the mountains or in nature, just breathing in the fresh air and enjoying the beauty around you or something that is easy going. Um, sometimes what will happen is when you're doing hardcore exercise, it'll make your body release cortisol and that will make you hungrier. It's just proof that you're stre that the exercise is stressing you out when you go into this overeating mode and that you need to just kind of pull back, uh, maybe even just do stretching, but pull back, do something in place of the exercise. So don't just stop altogether. I feel like even if you do have to stop, like, in the beginning, the first thing that I mentioned, or maybe it was the second thing I mentioned, where you are too stressed out and your body is in a healing phase. Um, if you're in a healing phase, I think it's good to, in that spot that you have for exercise, fill that up with meditation, relaxation, where you are filling that spot up with self-care so that when your body is back into exercise mode again, you still have that container of space left for you to exercise. So you have not broken a pattern of caring for yourself. You still have that there and available and you haven't filled it up with another habit that's gonna be hard to break. The last thing I wanna mention is if you guys always feel like you're in a healing phase and that you just can't snap out of it, exercise never feels regenerative, and always seems to be a problem for you, I highly recommend looking into your sleep. And I am, I think the next video what I'll do is a video on getting good sleep because I feel like that's key to making exercise work for you. So I hope these tips help you guys. And again, I just wanna reiterate, exercise is amazing. I think everybody should do it but to beware for these signs and listen to your body first and foremost and just realize that we're all in kind of a rhythm of sorts in our bodies healings and regeneration and um, the ability to do hard things at more other times more than others so if you'd like to check out my coaching services i would love to talk to you go to my website at www destinationnewlife.com and hit the free consult button where we can talk about what I do, how I can help you and see if you're, we actually are a good fit for each other. So have a blessed week, you guys. Bye.